Ines Alea from ToleratedStore.com. And right here we have the second and last part of this tutorial on how to create a zombie face in After Effects. If you haven't seen the first part where I talk about how I've done the eyes, be sure to check that one out, I will link it in the description. So let's get started with our tutorial. And This is actually the zombie face that we are going for, um, but right here I already did the eye in the other part here. I'm only doing one eye as you can do the other one uh, with the information for the first one. So uh, what we will do right here is we are going to focus on our um, actual face now. So I'm going to duplicate my footage here. So Control D to duplicate it. Then go to Effect Color Correction and add a Lumetri color. So right here. We're going to HSL Secondary here and we're going to key something. So we're going to pick the orange tones here and we're going to make it a lot smaller so actually we can do a little bit of fading here and um, but just on the first arrow make this smaller and then drag it around until you can actually see the information of your face right here we have our face and just maybe add a little bit more reds and there we go okay we have our face um, keyed out and now we're also going to refine it with a little bit of blur. So just add a little bit of blur. And then we're going to the color correction tab and we're going to take away the saturation here. So now we get a, um, yeah, as you can see, um, we get a desaturated face, which is making it a little bit more zombie-like. What you could possibly do, because you can actually see that the background also gets, um, yeah, also gets um, deleted. If you don't want that to happen, you can actually make a track of your face. So click on the face, ellipse tool, and make an ellipse like so. And track your face. So just the outline only. So your tracker is going to open. Track your outlines here and just um, track it forward. And it has been tracked here. And now we can actually just open up the mask settings here and increase the uh, expansion here, like so, and just feather it out. Play a little bit with the expansion here. And also I'm not going to desaturate it as much, so just a little bit. Uh, so you can actually see the difference between a normal face and a zombie face. So once you have done that, um, you can actually click on your original uh, footage here. And as I have said, um, I actually changed this to a JPEG sequence. Uh, that way we can actually go here in animation and track it in Mocha. Else, uh, if you're shooting MP4 or whatever, um, this can give some issues here. Uh, right here we have our... Um, yeah, settings, click OK, everything should be alright, click yes, if, uh, well, I have to click yes. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you can actually see it. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here on my face. Pan around a little bit here towards my forehead and I'm going to track this area here. And just try to add as much information, that's why I have added my eyebrows here and then just uh, track it forward. Okay, the track went perfectly, then show my grid and actually I'm going to um, make my 3D place a little bit like so, just try to eyeball it a little bit. And there we go, and then export my tracking data. After Effects transform data um, that supports position scale rotation. Copy to clipboard and go back to After Effects. Create a new null object, and this is going to be named track forehead. And just go to the beginning of your timeline and press P on the keyboard. That way we have our null with all its information. If we press U on the keyboard, you're going to see all the information right here. Then I'm going to my project manager and I actually downloaded um, something over here. I found a wound image on uh, Google so you can actually just Google something or make something yourself and take a photograph of this. Uh, right here I have this and I'm just going to parent this to the track forehead and scale it into position. So I'm going to place it right here. Scale it down. Also go to effect color correction tint and 
yeah, just lower the exposure, um, well, the saturation just a bit. Also go for a color correction curves. I'm going to bring up my blacks. Okay, bring up my blacks here. Bring down my highlights and add a little bit of contrast here. And then I'm going to pick my pen tool and just click around my wound and I'm going to try and get something like this. Okay, press F on the keyboard to feather it just a bit. And there we go. And actually I need to desaturate it a little bit more and brighten it a little bit more here. So this is going to depend on whatever, uh, whatever footage you're using, um, but you can actually duplicate it as well and blur it. So go blur and Gaussian blur and increase it to add something to the background here. So we can see it actually. The difference, press T on the keyboard to lower the second uh, layer here to lower it just a little bit, but that we have a little bit more information to work with. And then also for the mask, press M twice on the keyboard so we can actually lower the expansion here and increase the feather a little bit. And then also add a little bit of um, Gaussian blur here. So I'll add a little bit more blur. Something like tree should work. And now we have something here on my head and actually the blacks can be a little bit darker. Okay, and there we have it. So now if we're going to play this, it should actually um, track perfectly on my forehead. So let's see if I zoom in here. You can see it sticks in place. So um, you can do a little bit of better of a job with the mask and maybe pick another image because actually this image has a little bit too much highlights in uh, comparison with my actual scene. So uh, you should get another wound um, image to, to do this trick, um, but it's, uh, it's just a demonstration. So what you can do as well is um, go back to the footage that you actually edited to make it a little bit more desaturated. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of contrast as well. And that's only going to add some contrast to the face, um, but actually a zombie head always looks very contrasty. So I like to do that here as well. You can play with the uh, warm, warmth of the face and so maybe make it a little bit cooler. Um, and also sharpen it just a touch because um, a zombie also have a lot has a lot of detail in his face um, because of all these scratches and things uh, on his face. So you can you can also use this, uh, the same grunge texture that we use for the eye actually uh, put it on top here and maybe make it a soft light as well or maybe multiply. Let's see what works. Uh, multiply might work here and then we can actually just scale it a little bit like so and go back to uh, your footage here and duplicate that footage, put it on top of your grunge and make the grunge a alpha mat here. And now we're only going to get grunge on our face. Uh, again, go to blur and sharpen and add a little bit of blur here so we get less detail, but that's going to make our face a little bit of a little bit dirtier and then press T on the keyboard to lower the opacity there. And if we're going to toggle this on and off, you're going to see uh, it's going to look a little bit more filthy. Uh, so that's basically how to create everything I've done here. Um, I also extracted uh, the red tones for my lips but that you know how to do. Uh, it's actually the same workflow as I've done for the face so you can do that as well. And then finally of course is the color uh, correction, well the color grading of your scene. So I'm going to add a new layer and add an adjustment layer, rename this to color grading. And actually I'm going to search for LUT and um, if you don't know already on our website you can buy some LUTs um, and then you can use them on your scene and if we uh, are going to are we we're going to apply it here to the color grading and I'm going to use one of our LUTs called Apoca uh, Apocalypse and if I open this up you're going to see uh, it's a little bit too intense I'm going to press T on the keyboard lower the opacity here a little bit but that's going to give it a really cool look to it so it's going to look very zombie like uh, maybe we can bring up our saturation just a touch uh, here um, because it's getting too desaturated. Uh, we can choose something different if you want to. Um, what looks cool as well, let me see here. 
decelerated action is also pretty cool, uh, but maybe not for zombies. Um, maybe Empire. It kind of looks like um, The Walking Dead here. So if we increase that, that also looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to stick with Apocalypse for now. And I'm going to just lower my opacity here. And there we have my zombie face. So um, you can do a lot of cool things here. And also, and by the way, for the uh, texture that we just added to my face, uh, which is right here, we actually have to parent it as well with the forehead. So there we go. Now it's going to track to our face. We um, Well, I forgot to do that. Um, okay, so another thing that you can do is maybe my, make a final adjustment layer and with the ellipse tool double click on it, subtract it, go to effects, color correction, curves, bring down the curves and then press F on the keyboard and feather this so we get a nice vignette on the um, border of our image. A little bit bring this up and this is going to make our zombie pop a little bit more. So, and that's basically how I've done everything. Um, I also took out the uh, red, so let me let me just demonstrate very quickly. Go to color correction, hue and saturation, click on reds and just bring down these colors. And you can also play right here with these things here. And actually, the reason why it's not working on this one is because we are actually using less opacity. So I'm going to do it on my actual scene here. Or actually just create a new adjustment layer and paste it on there. So that's going to extract my red colors and just bring them up a little bit, but not too much. So uh, this is also going to make it look a little bit scarier. Um, so yeah, um, that's how I've done my entire face. Uh, just tweak it, find some things, things, and that's basically it. So if you have done this tutorial and you want to show off your zombie skills, make sure to leave a comment below with a link to your video. I will approve it. And then, yeah, if you liked it, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.